What's up my reseller friends? My name is Sabrina. I thrift to resell eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I am doing something a little bit different today. I am doing a come ship with me. So I'm giving you a look into my little world. And I thought that you can just hang out with me while I ship. So it is Tuesday morning. And these are all the sales that I've gotten since Monday morning. So pretty much the last 24 hours. So I'm just gonna go ahead and process them and thought we can hang out while I do it. I have thought about doing a video like this, maybe going live. I don't know if that's something that my audience would be interested in. If you want me to go live, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, I'm just not gonna waste my time if no one cares about that. <laughs> but anyways, um, the first thing I am going to do is my Macari sale. I like to do Macari first, only because I hate doing my Macari shipping because it just takes a little bit longer. So I like to do it first and just get it out of the way. So I have two screens. I'm not gonna show you my screens because it's got buyer's personal information on here. But um, on this screen, I have my pirate ship tab open. And then on this other screen I have right here, it's going to be Mercari. All right, so I have to ship a little mermaid shirt. This one was actually my own personal shirt. But I go through Disney shirts a lot. I am a Disney fanatic. I'm always at Disneyland and people give me a lot of Disney shirts as gifts and I just have a lot. So I wear them a few times and then when I'm done, I sell them and then I get new ones. So yeah, this one was a Little Mermaid one. I had it listed, I believe, for 13 and someone sent me an offer for 11. And I've had this listed for a little while, so... I was fine with the offer. It does weigh only three ounces. So yeah, so I just copy paste everything into Pirate Ship. So that's what I'm doing now. It's going to Philadelphia from California. So the cost was $4.13 at three ounces. I remember when that price was much lower. All right, Mercari is done. Now I'm going to move on to Poshmark. This one's gonna be kind of hard to ship. Um, the first thing I always do when I open up my Poshmark sales is I just mark it as shipped. I've So if I sold something on Posh and in between the time that I packaged it, put it out on my porch for pickup, and it got like officially like scanned into the system or somewhere around that time somebody canceled the order and the cancel went cancellation actually went through which was weird because i thought that normally would ask me to approve the cancellation but it didn't so i thought that maybe it was because i didn't mark that it was shipped yet so posh bar just let them cancel it i don't know so now whenever I ship something, I always just mark it as shipped, like right away. Poshmark did give me my money for it though. I contacted them and they took care of it. So it's this Beetlejuice. I'll take it up and show you. This Beetlejuice snake. It's like a candy jar or like a makeup holder or something. I mean, um, jewelry holder. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I paid $3 for it at a uh, yard sale. So I just covered the jar part, the, the glass with bubble wrap. This is kind of like awkwardly shaped. So what I am going to do Once I bought a beautiful, breakable Disneyland castle on Poshmark. Oh my God, it was gorgeous. It was from the 60 year anniversary of Disneyland. And it was like 
this really beautiful like statue and I got it for a really good deal. I was super stoked, but when I got it, a piece of it was broken. And I think what ended up happening is Poshmark gave me the option if I wanted to return it and get my money back, or if I wanted to get like a third, keep, keep the castle and get like 25% of my money back, or it was something weird like that. So I chose to get the 25% back and keep the castle. Um, Cause I just loved it so much. And I just glued the broken part back together. But that girl wrapped it up pretty good in bubble wrap. And it still broke. So I always use like negative experiences to help better my life. So whatever I sell breakables, I don't want that person to be disappointed like how I was disappointed when I opened the box and saw that castle broken. You know, looking back at it now, what I should have done was just filed a, a USPS claim myself and gotten a refund. So guarantee that Poshmark filed an insurance claim on it and they got to get all their money back for it. Guaranteed. And then me, I only got 25%. But if I would have been smarter, okay. sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. I will make it work. And watching this at home, you're probably thinking to yourself, Sabrina, just put it in a shoe box, priority mail shoe box. I tried that. It was just a little too small. It didn't fit. But it looks like it would, right? Like this kind of looks like about the same size as the shoe box. This one, doing it this way, it's just slightly, slightly bigger. As far as like wideness goes, not length. The shoe box is longer, but I needed the width to be a little bit bigger. So yeah, it's securely packaged in this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this large mailing box. The trick to shipping something securely is box in box. This guy's not gonna break. As I slam it into the ground. So I am going to put some fragile stickers on it. This is a debate within the reseller community if fragile stickers are a good idea or not. Some people swear that they never do it because um, the shipping company, whoever it is they use, whether it's FedEx or USPS or whoever, that apparently there's some pretty shitty employees that work there that go out of the way to try to break packages that have fragile stickers on it. That's the claim. Somebody told me they had a friend that worked for FedEx and that that's what him and his friends do or his coworkers do. They like try to break the boxes. And I just wonder like, how can someone be friends with someone so shitty like that? But I don't, I don't believe it personally. I've never had any sort of encounter or experience like that. 
So I still put the stickers on and my buyers appreciate them. It just shows that you took that extra step and that you care about their items not breaking. So I do it. So I only had um, one sale from Posh, one sale from Macari. What did I do with that other package? Which actually is pretty good because my sales on Posh and Macari have been really bad lately. Mm. See, this is what happens when you work in an environment that's super messy is you can't find shit. All right, there's that one. Okay. So now I am going to ship eBay. I have a bookmark that takes me directly to the page where you buy your labels in bulk. So I just click on that bookmark every time and it takes me straight there. I mean, any little things that you can do to save yourself a couple of seconds really helps. The same thing with like my pirate ship and my Macari. Like I have all those things bookmarked. So whenever I need to go to those pages, I just like pull them up super fast. All right. I think I have to grab a couple boxes real quick. Yeah. All right. I already grabbed all my stuff ahead of time. Okay, so the first item I have to ship is a doll. Now, today was definitely a Barbie day. Um, yesterday when I did my shipping, I only shipped out one Barbie item. But today I have lots of Barbie to ship. So I always ship my dolls in this 8x6x4 box by Supply Hut. Everybody always asks me where I buy my box, my shipping supplies, and I can't really give you an answer for that because it's kind of all over the place. I just buy on Amazon or eBay, and I always just choose uh, what's the better deal. Normally, my poly bags are better to buy on Amazon, and the boxes are better to buy on eBay. Boxes are really expensive on Amazon, in my opinion. Oh, so this Teresa doll that I sold, she is called Sunshine Day Teresa Barbie, and she was from 2001. She was very hard for me to identify. I don't, I think the way that I did it was I could just tell by looking at the doll that she was from the early 2000s. So I think I just like Googled Teresa Dolls 2000 and then looked and saw what come up came up and if I didn't find her then I looked up Teresa Doll 2001 until like that was probably when I I finally found which doll it was and I was able to identify her because I did not have her original outfit so the outfit that she's wearing is not her original outfit and this one sold for $18 free shipping I normally put uh, free shipping on all my Barbie stuff because I get a lot of um people who buy more than one Barbie item at a time. So I feel like having that free shipping and then I also have like a buy one, get one 20% off or something like that. Um, so I often get people buying more than one Barbie thing. Today I did it though, but I, I do get that a lot. And I do think that, that free having that free shipping counts. I just incorporate the cost of shipping into the item price. So yeah, this one, I wasn't paying attention. I weighed it. This one is 7.5 ounces, so it's right under the 8 ounces. If I would have shipped this in this same box, but like the eBay brand, this would have put it probably over the 8 ounces. And let's see how much. If I would have put had to put it over 8 ounces, it would have been $5.33 to ship it. But because it's only 8 ounces, 
it's four dollars and 44 cents so that did save me some money and think about all these barbies i sell like that totally adds up so that's why i always make sure that i have these boxes in stock versus the ebay one because it is slightly heavier this is going to Tennessee. Oh my gosh, so the girl who bought this, her name is Teresa. <laughs> so I'm shipping Teresa to Teresa. How cool. And I write the buyer's name on the box. All right. So Robert from Oregon purchased. This little Barbie nightgown. I've had this one listed. Oh, I actually listed it in August of 2002 and 2022. So this has been listed for a year. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but the funny thing about this little Barbie nightgown is I have gotten probably maybe two people message me and ask me, is this a, a dress for a doll or can a little girl wear it? Because it does kind of seem like from the picture that it could actually be a little girl's dress. But no, it's a Barbie dress. So this one is going to cost me $3.81 to ship. And I sold it for $12.14. I don't know where that 14 came from. I may have sent like an offer and it may have been on sale or something. I don't know. Okay. Next is this Lord of the Rings um, strategy guide book. This isn't that great of a sale. It sold for $8.99. And it's looking like my cost of shipping is going to be that $3.92 for media mail. And then after all the fees and all that bull crap, I'm probably really only making like a dollar if I'm lucky. But this did come from a huge bulk purchase of strategy guidebooks that I bought. So I listed them pretty much all at once and they were really easy to list. And since I listed them in bulk, it really wasn't, it really wasn't hard to list. So I'm not, I'm not complaining about this one. And this is going to John in North Carolina. Another Barbie dress. This one is actually a vintage homemade Barbie dress. It's really cute. It's sold for 18 bucks. For, yeah, that's pretty good. I listed it in January, so it sat for eight months, but does this take up any space? No. Ohio. Think how you pronounce the girl's name is Donica. That's pretty. One of my daughter's really good friend's names is Danica. Okay, Donica. All right, another Barbie item. These are going to be these little shoes lot of two these sold for $13.49 and these are actually skipper these these uh won't fit barbie but they'll fit her her younger sister skipper and they're vintage and since these are vintage they're going to be a little bit more delicate so i feel like i need to wrap them up better more securely so i'm just going to wrap them inside this piece of cardboard
and it's just gonna go in a padded mailer. That should be good. This is gonna cost me $3.90 to ship. This is going to Missouri and it's going to Carla. All right. Somebody in New Jersey purchased this shark plush for $8.99 plus shipping. So I am just going to put this little cutie inside one of these mailers. This is a size, let's see what size it is. It's a 19 by 14, 19 by 14. These are great. I buy these ones on Amazon. So this weighs 7.6 ounces. So I'm gonna round it up to eight. And the total, oh, it's only gonna cost me $4.44 to ship. That's pretty good. And I charged the buyer $5.99 for shipping. So it actually came out cheaper than I thought it would be. I love it when that happens. But don't get me wrong, I I don't feel like I rip off buyers because I mean, look at, sometimes you lose some, sometimes you win some, but at the end of the day, doing all the shipping takes takes out of time out of your day and this is work, this is your time. And I don't feel bad to make a couple of extra dollars here and there on shipping because I'm investing my own time that is worth something to do shipping. So I, I don't feel bad when that happens. All right, so this Barbie, her name is Mari. And she's a generation girl. She came out in 1999. And this doll sold for $25. And she doesn't even have her clothes. Nothing. And she sold the day I listed her. So this is a really good sale. I bought her at a flea market for a dollar. So she weighs seven ounces, so I'm gonna round it up to eight. And 444, not bad. I cannot pronounce her name, but it's going to Maine. Last item. So this vintage Skipper doll, she's from the 80s. She is horse loving Skipper. So I guess today was the Skipper kind of day, right? Well, she sold for $40.49. I bought her at a thrift store when I went to go visit my family in Colorado. Um, I think I paid $12 for her. I think I listed her in January. Yeah, January. So again, this one was listed for eight months and she finally sold. I'm going to wrap her up in bubble wrap. And then I, I was lucky enough to have this size Amazon box, which was like perfect for it. And she fits absolutely perfect. And that's the, the trick of selling Barbies in their boxes. You have to find a box that's, that fits perfectly. See how it goes perfectly right in. You don't want her smashed in, but you also don't want her loose either. So this is absolutely perfect. And since it is an Amazon box, I like, I, this doesn't matter. You don't have to do it. This is just 
my thing. I like to cover up the Amazon tape with the eBay tape. <laughs> really, I don't think the buyer cares, but I care for some reason. about weighing a lot less than I thought so I charged ten dollars for shipping and she only weighs 12 ounces so she's gonna cost five dollars and four cents which is not bad at all when um, when USPS changed from first class to uh, ground advantage, I pretty much changed all of my listings to ship ground advantage. And there's, it's really rare that I have any priority mail um, listings anymore. Um, and it's just, it's been working out for me because I just figured if it's gonna cost less or the same to ship priority mail, then I'll upgrade them to priority mail. But if I would have kept this one at Priority Mail, which it was at before, I, I would have had to have spent an additional $4 on this shipping. But because of the fact that I changed this to Ground Advantage, I could ship at Ground Advantage, charge them the $10 for shipping, but it's only costing me $5. So this is, I love when this happens. So I got lucky today with um, these two items. And this is going to Steven in Louisiana. So total cost of shipping labels is $34.12. So that's my shipping for today. Honestly, I think my sales were pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10, 10 items going out the door. Whenever I sell 10 items a day, I'm always really happy that 10 items is great. So this is pretty much the end of it. I just gotta put these labels on them. So because I put everyone's name on the packages, now I just have to match the name to the box. And I always just drop down their first name and then I always use the label to cover up where I wrote their names. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I just, for me, I just like to cover it up. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. Let me know what you thought about this video. I know this is completely different from what I normally do, but I'm, I'm trying to think of more ideas and more different types of videos I can have. I don't wanna just keep releasing the same type of video over and over again. So if you like this, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know too. That way I just know what you guys like. And if you have any other ideas of any other types of videos that I can make, let me know. I've been trying to post a lot more lately. I don't know if you've noticed or not. Um, but thanks so much everyone for all your support. I really appreciate it. If you're not following me, please subscribe and don't forget to like this video. Um, comment if you can, because all those things really help me out a lot. And never forget, when you thrift upon a star, all your dreams will come true. I'll see you in my next video.